Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove distortion manually without using any filters, any plugins, or anything like that from Photoshop. Uh, it's going to be very, very simple, very quick technique that will work on almost 90% of the photos that you take that have a lot of distortion. Uh, so in a previous video I showed you how to use remove distortion using the adaptive wide angle filter that is available right here where you go to filter adaptive wide angle and you're able to draw a whole bunch of lines and, and tell Photoshop where you want it to be corrected. Uh, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do it manually, and it's very, very fast, very simple. So the first thing we're going to do is draw out some guides that you can reference when uh, when you're dis removing the distortion from your photo. These are only temporary guides, so if you don't see the rulers over here, you just click Command or Control R, and they will pop up. And now when you click on the ruler over here and you click and drag, you can see I get a, a line that I can drag across my photo. Uh, these are really helpful to uh, you know to kind of reference where exactly straight line is a completely straight line is. So I know on this area I need this area to be straight. So I'm just going to click and drag and release, and now I have a blue line there. I'm going to do the same thing again to this wall area back here. I don't want that to be straight, and then I'm going to do another one uh, over here roughly. Let's do it here. And this this one I'm kind of basing it off of the uh, fireplace line that draws uh, kind of diagonal like that. And so the only thing I'm really going to do here is I'm going to transform my photo. I'm going to use the uh, regular transform tool to transform my photo. So I'm going to click a, a Command or Control T on my keyboard. And you can see I have this boundary box here. I'm going to use the perspective. So I'm going to right click on the image there and say perspective. And now I can take my two bottom nodes here, my two bottom handles, and hold Option. And as I do that, I'm stretching my image out to make it more level. So you can see here, and all I'm doing right here is matching, making sure this is perfectly straight with this line. Uh, this one will be a little bit off, but we can change that in a second. Uh, having this perfectly straight, this is pretty lo looks pretty good right here. So I'm just going to keep dragging it out just a little bit. So right around there. And so now I need to correct this area just a tiny bit. So I'm going to do a distort. And this distort will allow me to do one node individually. So I'm just going to click right there. And now one more thing I want to do just to kind of help this image out, because it kind of looks a little scrunched, is I'm going to scale it. I'm going to click on scale, right click there, and just drag it down a little bit. So right there. All right, so that is our after image. It actually looks very, very upright, very straight. Everything looks perfectly straight here. Uh, we did lose a little bit of image, but when you're removing a lot of distortion like that, you're going to be able to, you, you're going to lose some of the image. Uh, depending on how much you want to lose, if you want to go in with a uh, clone stamp tool and just kind of patch things together, you can do that. You can see up here in this area, we have to fix this. And so uh, we got a couple options. We can just crop it in, which is most likely what we would do. Or you can uh, take the clone stamp tool. I can click right here, clone stamp, and just kind of, uh, kind of manually go in here and start filling in this area with the clone stamp tool and just filling in the wall. Uh, so that's a, that's another option. But most likely I would go ahead and crop in just to get rid of some of that area. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to manually remove distortion from your photos. Very easy to do. Uh, you you know, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the adaptive wide angle filter and you're not comfortable with putting your photos through that filter, you can always do it this way and it will remove uh, a very good amount of distortion for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. Head on over to SleekLens. There's SleekLens.com for more photography tutorials, Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, all good stuff over there. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.